guys, it's Audrey, and today I obviously have a lot of packages here. Sadly, none of these are technically for me. These are all for the little guy and gals in these cages back here. Also, the dog that I bored, Shadow, is here, and he is currently on the other side of the table, on watch, staring the guinea pigs down, because what else would he do? So, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video for my guinea pigs. Um, I don't know if I posted an update video. I don't know if I posted explaining why I have guinea pigs. If I have, the link will be in the description. Today, that's not what this video is about. Today's video is about redoing their cages and unboxing everything that I have in front of me. So, I got my handy dandy scissors and let's begin. These have all been arriving over the span of like two weeks and I have been patiently waiting to open them so I could open them for you guys. And I did not know my patience could be this good. We'll just start with what's right in front of us here. Um, this is a package from Etsy. Also, I'm assuming a lot of you guys watching this or at least some of you guys watching this have guinea pigs. So I will be linking everything that I am going to be showing in this video. I'll link it in the description. But this is an order from Etsy. Oh, I'm so excited. Is there like anything in here? No. Woo! Okay. I've been so excited. Oh, wow! I knew this was gonna be soft, but that's like soft, soft. So this is just a pack of a bunch of stuff for the cages. If you guys aren't familiar with guinea pigs, because I know like that's something I haven't talked about on my channel before, then this might not make sense to you, but waterproof pee pads. I just got everything in dark gray because it'll match Oh yeah, this is so much more high quality than I expected. Like I got all of this for like 20 bucks and free shipping, which is crazy because a lot of guinea pig stuff is so expensive. This is huge. Okay, this is like, it's just like a little cuddle sack, you know, it's literally just like a sack and the piggies can crawl into it. So that's fun. Okay, so these are actually bottle pads. They're so like waterproof and whatnot, but you put them under like water bottles and stuff just so the actual fleece liner doesn't get all wet. And then these are the pee pads. So they're a little bit bigger. Wow, all of that for $20? That is such a good deal. Okay, then we'll just go ahead and open this, which is just from Petco. These are from PetSmart, but I just got little wooden shoes. I already opened these, but they're just like plain old wooden shoe sticks. Okay, then I also got two hanging, just like shoes. Natural play dangly apparently is what they're called. So then I got two of these ceramic dishes because Hide, the guinea pig that I got originally, already had one of these, so I figured I would get them all matching bowls. The other one is in their cage because I had to use it for their salads this morning. Oh my gosh, I like don't know what to open next. We'll open this fun box. That's, boxes are always fun. And this is only, I only have two boxes, so. I forgot what's in here. What is this? Oh my god. God? These are so much bigger than I thought they'd be. Okay, these are hay racks. Um, Cause right now the hay rack that Hyde has, it's like not good cause it has metal bars and you're not supposed to have those kind cause they can get stuck in them. The other two girls didn't even come with a hay rack. So I ordered these and they're a lot bigger, which like I guess is great because you know, you want your piggies to have a lot of hay available. But, oh my God, what the, f what? Why does it look like a purse? Really fill that up with hay and then they eat it, but I'm confused how that's gonna work, how you hook that onto the cage. I wasn't expecting that, but hey. Okay, I mean, oh, did you hit but hay while I was holding a hay bag? Come on. Okay, then I just got a pack of two so that the girls can both have their own bag. Let's see. I got these from different brands. Okay. Yeah. See the, wait, what? Oh, okay. Here are the little hooks to hang it up. Yeah. They're basically the same size. This one feels a little more sturdy. These were a bargain because I got a two pack. I feel like I shouldn't be cutting these open. Okay. This is a large package just for this. Am I making a pile of like Okay. 
we're throwing all the trash off camera. Okay, so this I got off Amazon, and this is just the wooden bendy bridge. I actually got two of these, but I'm not sure. Ah, this is the other one. They came in two separate packages because I ordered them on different days. This one seems fun. I know what's in here, actually. Oh, I forgot. Okay, there's two things in here. I totally forgot. I know what's in here, actually. Okay, I also, another thing from Night Angel are just these three little balls. And then I got this fun little thing off Amazon. And it's just like a wooden house, Heidi house. Okay, the reviews for this on Amazon were very mixed. But we'll see, because you have to kind of like, they, they know it's for them. They know this stuff is for them. And then you just plop the lid on. That's cute, and then it has windows, so that's fun. This was so easy to build. I don't know why it had bad reviews. It's the back wall, I'm assuming. Oh, that's upside down. Oh wait, oh my god, what? Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, she smell like Lincoln Logs. Not me struggling to put this together. This was so easy to build, I don't know why I had bad reviews. Okay, now all three of these are all the same thing. We will open them one at a time. Companies are making it way too hard for me to open them on their designated opening places. Okay, so these are fleece liners from like cavi.com, I'm pretty sure. And these are what are gonna go into the cage. And now you guys might be like, cow print, that's cute. But I didn't just choose cow print because it was cute. My bed is actually cow print. Like my comforter is cow print. So now the piggies are gonna match with me. But oh, oh wow, it's so soft. Yeah, so this one is for Hyde. It's slightly smaller because his cage is slightly smaller. So I actually got two for him. They do a deal and it's just like a really good one where you buy two and you save a lot of money. So I got two of those. I'm not going to open the second one because it's like the exact same. So this one, this one's for the girls and it's the same one, just a little bit bigger, like I said. I only got one for them because when I got these piggies, um, they already had liners for their cage. They're like the guinea dad liners, but I don't really like those liners at all. And then you can sort of see off in the corner, the big boy. Yeah, girls, can you see him? Yeah? Okay, this is the big boy. This is a CNC cage. As you can see, Hyde, the boy guinea pig, who's in a separate cage, is in that horrible little eyesore of a cage um, that is just way too small, even for a hamster. That's not good. So I ordered him this cage and it finally got here. It was supposed to get here yesterday. I've been waiting all morning for it. Finally got here. So I need to build this. And then he will have, for the first time in his life, a cage that is actually big enough for him. So, we need to build this. This cage is from Piggy Bedspreads, I believe. Again, I'll link everything down below. I build IKEA things. I've heard from a lot of sources that CNC cages um, take forever to build. Um, I'm sure it's just, it's only a box. Like, it's not actually like difficult. I feel like it's just really time consuming. These are the, I almost said ingredients. These are the ingredients to like build our cage. No, these are the, materials. These are the materials to build the cage. I'm probably just gonna time lapse this. Now, why do people say this takes a long time? I guess like most people's cages are really giant and elaborate. And I guess mine doesn't come with like a bottom, does it? Maybe it does. Okay, I'm really not good at a lot of things, so I'm shocked that I was able to, I forgot one. I'm shocked I was able to put this together. 
The fact I can literally comfortably... Oh my god, this cage is bigger than my legs. I'll just sit inside the cage for a second. I'm not seeing the double... I'm not seeing any double... Oh, there goes the zip tie. With two-sided tape on each corner. Okay. Where is the tape? I'm assuming it should be on the inside. I'm gonna be back when I finish this because like I am so confused. Okay, hello. Let me do some explaining. So as you can see, there's a floor now. The people I got that cage from built it themselves. So they actually had leftover black grids and they gave them to me. So I figured I would build a little bottom half because that one has a bottom. But sadly, these black grids and the white grids are slightly different sizes, like just by a little bit. And I used all my zip ties and it's kind of falling apart a little bit. So as you can see, I shouldn't have said that this was going to be extremely easy. Let's see how this fits. Also, still can't find the tape that was supposed to be on the thing. Like, I just can't find it. I could definitely just hot glue it. Okay, hello. I really should clean my floor um, because there's so much stuff. It is done. I'm going to put things in here so I can get an idea of the layout of the cage. So let's go. The litter box is going to go in like one of these corners back here. I don't have it yet, but it will go back there. getting salads because I'm holding a bowl. Okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out, put it up on the table, and then we're gonna put them inside of it. Ah! I was a little bit of an idiot and built it on the floor. Why didn't I build it on the table? Alrighty, we'll go ahead and Slide this bad boy back. Okay, house. We need to reconfigure some things. Okay, finished. Rearranging some things, filled that up with hay. As you can see, there's already hay that like has been spilling out, which is why I am making them litter boxes. I decided to keep this corner clear because I wanted them to be able to look through and see each other and everything. But let's walk over here. This is his cage right now. I could fit probably three of these in his new cage over there. So, so we're gonna move this little guy into his new cage. Wow! What do you think, dude? Oh, Shadow's interested. What do you think? Okay, I think it's safe to say he loves it. He's already chewing up on the chew toys and everything. He's having a blast. Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah. Oh. It's a little bit later. Hyde has been popcorning all over his cage because he loves it. But I was gonna wait and do the girl's cage tomorrow, but I think I wanna just do it now because I have such a big mess on the floor 
of guinea pig stuff that isn't really gonna get put away until I just do their cage. So it's starting to get dark, so I'm just gonna hurry and do it off camera, and then I will show you guys what it looks like after, because their cage, you know, I'm basically just switching out the fleece and giving them some new toys, so it's not as drastic of a change. And I feel like this video is already very long, so I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. <laughs> So as you guys can see, both of the cages are officially done. Um, I am gonna put their second hay bag up tomorrow once I get the litter box, just because two hay bags would be a whole lot of hay all over the cage. Aww. They are loving it. Loving their new cage. Hyde has been sprinting around his cage. I've tried to get it on video. I have yet to get it on video, but he has just been having some serious zoomies. They finally each have a hideout. In their cage before, they didn't have separate hideouts, so now they do. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks so much cleaner and neat and nice back there, so... Hello everyone, so it's actually the next day. I was gonna end this vlog, or this video. I was gonna end this video yesterday, but I actually got the Coroplast sheets in today and I finished their litter boxes and everything, so I figured I'd show you guys those because it's more of like an updated version. So here's what the girls ended up looking like. It's a tiny bit too short on either side, but that's fine. And I'm gonna get them another water bottle and then put one water bottle right there, one water bottle on this side, but for now, this is what's going on. So they have two hay bags, two bowls, everything. Right now she's just munching. I threw in some orchard grass hay right in the middle. So now their two hideouts are over here and I noticed they really like to pee inside. Hi, Franbo. <laughs> they really like to pee inside of their little hideouts, so I put some pee pads. I also folded this liner over just because I didn't want the liner to go under the tray because it made it fit a little bit weird. Then this little guy over here, hide. He is dying to be involved. Here's his little cage, so it's a, oh, and also I made a little covering out of the remaining coroplast just so they feel safe when they're eating because when you're trying to litter train <laughs> guinea pigs, you want to make sure that wherever their litter box is, it's covered. It just makes them feel safer and they're more likely to actually use it. Hyde's litter box is a little smaller just because he's only one guinea pig. He only needs one hay bag and everything. So I just put in another grid right here just so I could put a little mini cover over the top. Doesn't cover the whole thing, but it's definitely better than nothing. Here's like the new layout of his cage. The girls absolutely love their new setup. They've been sleeping in these little hideouts all day. I think they really love how squishy it is now. And yeah, they've just been eating hay together. I'm sure they love having two racks. It's a lot easier for them to both eat hay at the same time. So I just wanted to give that little update so that you guys had like the updated version since it was already done and I hadn't uploaded this video yet. Also, I did clean. Really surprised about that, but I did clean. As of now, that is what their cages look like. That's their updated cages. I am so happy that it's finally done. I hope you guys really liked it. That's all for this one. Feel free to check out some other videos on my channel. Check out my links in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!